All right, some other things here on, on your track that we're dealing with uh, is on video specifically, you have a toggle track output. This basically turns the track on and off. Basically, so you can either see it, it makes it invisible. If you click it on the eye like that, it turns it off. And now, even though those edits are still there, we're not seeing it. But when it cuts to this one, I didn't poke that one in the eye. So this one still shows where the one below it does not because I got that whole track turned off. And then the next item over here is this a toggle sync lock option here. Now this has to do with if you're editing files and you're putting different files down inside. And if you want to insert something, if you want to insert a file, watch what happens if I've, I've got this clip here, I've got an in and out point here. And if I hit my insert, watch what happens. Insert, it cuts everything and pushes it out. Uh, so I cut it right where my playhead was and pushed everything at out. But say you got some music track down here that you don't want to push down because it'll t push everything kind of, uh, it'll cut your uh, your music apart and have that gap in your music. Uh, so what you can do is if this is your music track, which it's not, you can you can toggle your sync lock and now it is uh, turned off. And now I'm bringing this video file down. If I hit insert, it inserted the video and shoved everything down but left this track alone. This is a bad instance to do that because I'm not, that this is typically used for like music so you're not pushing the music further down or cutting your music up. But it inserted it and it pushed everything else down but the audio track there. And everything else, whatever else is, uh, that's whatever else is, uh, this has been left alone on, it's going to shove those down when I do an insert. Uh, we'll have some instances in future episodes where we talk about that, but that, that that's basically what that does. Also, you've got track targeting. Track targeting is basically, this is, there's a lot of reasons for this, but one of the main reasons is for copying and pasting. If I take a video in my timeline here and I do uh, control C and copy, or even control X and cut it. Now let's say I want to paste that. Let's say I want to paste it here, but I don't. But if I paste it here, watch this, command V, it pastes over what I have here. If I turn off these uh, these two on the inside here, it's basically think of it as activating a track. That These tracks have kind of been deactivated. You can still see them. You can still manipulate them with your mouse or whatnot. But now when I do command V and paste, it'll go to the next targeted tracks, which are uh, two and two right here. So when I pasted it, it pasted it to those ones right there. So very helpful for moving files around. That was Command V, Control V, I did to paste that. So Control X or Command X, and then Control V or Command V, V as in Victor, to paste it. So let me undo that, put that back where it was. And it is really helpful for copying and pasting and moving in if you don't want to move it onto a very specific track. Moving over, I'll talk about lock here in a minute, uh, but you've got uh, source patching. Source patching, what this is doing is reading your clip out of the source monitor. Here's my source monitor uh, that it's reading, and this is reading that this only has a video track because there's nothing on my audio right now. It's reading, but if I find one that has video and audio, like this clip right here, uh, let's click on my video to go to my video here. Now that I've got a uh, one that has video and audio, so you can see video and audio right there, it has source patching for, this is gonna tell the source monitor where to deliver these files. So if I say, if I have it here, I have this in point and out point, and I hit period for overwrite, it just put it right here uh, on this track. Let's undo that, I'll move my playhead back a little bit, and let's say we wanna put it there, but I wanna, I wanna have the, the source monitor deliver its video track here and its audio track here, and now I hit period to drop it in, which is overwrite, it puts it on top. It, it puts it on top here and here. So that's what your source patching does. This is track targeting, and the, this is toggle uh, your your sync lock. Uh, over here, you've got a lock, and this basically makes makes it so you can't do anything to this track. This is kind of like toggle sync uh, sync lock here, uh, but with sync lock, you can still move over and manipulate these files within your timeline like that. But if you put the lock, you can't touch anything. It will not let you move these. It will not let you do anything to these tracks here at all. So then, if you if you do uh, period to drop in a file here, and my source patching is on the on this track right here, watch this. It does. It just puts down the audio because this is locked. It's trying to put it there, but it can't because it's locked. So that's what lock does. 